I have ALS and my arms don't work that well. There's a lot of entrances still to the to the TTC lines that don't have um, special needs access. To somehow try to fix, fix the amount of delays that, that are constantly happening, that are stopping the commute, I find that those are really troublesome. Well, a relief line for the uh, young line, clearly. That's yeah. the top one for you. Yeah. Well, look at it, it's three in the afternoon. It's already packed. Right, and all we're doing is funneling more people on the same line, which is, the, isn't that the definition of stupidity? More frequent trains might be able to clear up the backlog Next of people station. faster and make it College. more expedient. For during peak times. Yeah. Tonight on City News, we've been asking you, Toronto's transit riders, what your top priorities are for our newly minted TTC board chair. I am joined with the TT board, TTC board's new boss, Councillor Jay Robinson. Councillor, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. As uh, we just heard from some of the subway riders that we spoke with this week, one of the big issues is accessibility. Some people having issues with accessible doors, or whether it's elevators, people, uh, mothers pushing strollers, or people with disabilities. Where is that on your priority list? So it's a top priority. I've heard it from my residents in, in my former ward uh, last term, and it's very difficult to really navigate our our, uh, stations so it is a priority and we are running uh, public consultations on that and trying to move forward having said that it's very costly because it means major infrastructure improvements and uh, considerations so uh, we're, we're really trying to roll that out as soon as possible now on uh, Twitter on Facebook we've also been asking uh, some of our viewers out there what they thought we got this viewer question for you sent in from Jen Neum she said her priority let's start with consistent and ready to use service absolutely so I ride transit every day. I barely know where my parking spot is at City Hall. I'm proud to say that. And I observe the issues. Uh, it's, it's reliability problems every day. And so we're trying to address that by dealing with the automated train control, the signaling system. You'll see that we are rolling out a new signaling system throughout this system, especially on line one and where we are right now and uh, this is this is a top priority and we're right now we are on time on budget but we have to look at that and make sure we wrap it up we got another question in from jessica she says make sure people actually pay to use it now we know there's things like fare evaders but there's also issues on the new streetcars with uh, the debit tap which is going to be obsolete soon we have presto issues we're getting rid of ttc tokens how do we make sure that we're getting the you know the most revenue we can out of the TTC to keep service up to par? Well, I love that question. Uh, we are doing public consultations on the whole Presto issue, and then related to that issue, we have to do a better job. I think that's actually a, a, she's identified a weakness where we have to make sure that people are paying their share and and uh, participating in the in the payment structure that we've set out. So that's absolutely an, another priority for the TTC. Earlier on City News at five, we heard from Ryerson Professor Mertal. A hater. He is a transit expert we speak with on a regular uh, regular occasion. He said your number one and toughest job that you have is restoring trust in the TTC board, in council, in the TTC as a whole. He cited, you know, certain documents, public consultations um, that, that the, the public has paid for. And when media or the public asked to see how some of these reports uh, have been done, they're heavily redacted. And these are, are reports and studies that have been funded by the taxpayer. How do you instill trust in riders? Yeah, so often transit is a political football. Uh, I'm hoping that that's, that actually we've turned the page on that. And um, I think that we'll see more transparency, more accountability this term. And I think we'll see more actual growth in the system. So um, it's a big undertaking. And it's something I'm very passionate about is making sure things are transparent. So I do think there's a bit of rebuilding to do. And I'm, I'm up to the job. We know that subways are a big issue for people in the city. We know that you're a big proponent of a downtown relief line. Huge. Though when it comes to buses, more than 60% of people, their, their rides in the TTC start and end on a bus. That's correct. Yeah. What are you committed to do when it comes to buses? Well, we're going to be looking at that as a board, and we're just starting the budget process uh, for every division, including the TTC. So we are having our very first official council meeting uh, today, and then in the new year we'll be looking at those issues. So buses are very important to the transit network. It's how people get to the subway or to their streetcars or to, you know, live, work, or play. And so we want to make sure we're focusing on our bus services and making them more effective. We've got one of the toughest jobs at City Hall for the next four years. We look forward to speaking with you on several more occasions in the years, months ahead. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, thank you.